Hey, what's up? This is Helbody again, and welcome back to my SQL storage engine tutorial part two. And before that, uh, let me show you another real world example BMW and Toyota. People want BMW probably tough and safe, even the price is a little pricey. But another side, people want Toyota, even maybe not much tough than BMW, but safe, gas, and durable and less expensive. Same happens on these two engine types. In the DBSA transaction safe storage engines, it can be commit, rollback, and crash recovery capabilities to protect user status. My ISAMS is non transaction safe but use low bytes for storage data and fast process. You can have multiple types engines put in one same database, such as you can have many cars and part in your same garage. That would be fun in your party night. What is the disadvantage if you put multiple engines in the same database? If you are a car dealer, that will not be a good idea for using only one big parking lot because that would be make your space mess it up. How do you find out your car inaccurately? Feel a big headache on your database too because the massive data will grow rapidly if you without a perfect structure. So the point is how do you manage your space well and safe? The solution is sort the table and engine types to different databases. If the table is empty, you can go ahead to drop it, but otherwise I won't suggest because you will lose your data. So the best thing is I prefer you, ha you have to sort your database too. For example, the first database is belongs to InnoDB, and I, by the way, I will create a second database that belongs to my ISAM. And before I drop all the redundancy tables, I have to convert the table from the old database to the new database table. Okay, let's uh, step back to, uh, to local host. Uh, so now we have to do is create the new database. So I uh, create database and I just make the new name either you like. So I put a uh, new DB that's been the new database and then uh, click go button. So you can see the new database already create and I just click in it uh, because I want to create a table in this new database. So I uh, create table uh, this time I put a message underscore two and uh, I just copy the first I mean the message one table before I make it so you better to uh, review my part one video so you will understand that's all I already created and I uh, make the engine types to be my ISAM and let me click the button and I create a table first okay uh, right now um, I have to insert the data that from the old database user to the new database. So, um, okay, let me start the, the statement insert into a message underscore two because there's a table I already create. So the column I choose title and message. And the uh, values, values um, that's from user data message one table and to the new database message two table. This is so this select. It's not the new that data value. So I put select instead. And um, the subsequent should be uh, start from database and um, dot table and dot column so yeah better to understand the subsequence um, and because yeah, I have to get the uh, a, a data from another database so I put users dot message underscore one this table name and dot title this is the column name and same thing I put users dot message underscore one and dot uh, message so this um, from user database from users dot message 
on the score one. Okay, let me repeat the statement again. So now I create a new database, new DB, and I make the new table message too. I want to insert two columns value from the old data database. So this old database user from the table message one, and I got a column titles belongs to title, and same thing, the same data and table, and I want to get a message columns value to the message from the uh, user database and table message one. So um, that's uh, very sad. Let me copy this uh, before I uh, get an error message and then click go button. So um, yes, I didn't get any error message. So that means everything is okay. So let me back off and uh, uh, I want to show the uh, uh, some, some, some information like show table status from I want I will show the new database. So I put a new DB. I'm sorry, new DB. I want to show show the new database status. And by the way, I will show the new table and select everything from um, new DB dot. The table name is called message two because the new table is message two. And uh, and also I want to show the old database table. So it selects everything from user. Dot the message one. Yeah, so I just want to show new and old table. So uh, click the go button. Okay, you can see now I create a new table message too from the new database, and I set the engine tab as my ISM. And also I do have the two tables now. One is from new database message two. And I got three columns of values. That's all insert from the old database user message one. You can see I exactly got everything right there. So now I just show you the very simple sample. If of course, if you have the massive data, it won't be like that. So you will have the huge data right there. You have to you have to better to check it out as everything converts from the from the old data to the new database. So make sure you get everything before you drop the table. Another best way to save your data, I would suggest you do the export file. So click the export button. So you will have the two export methods. The first one are the custom. That one, uh, it, you can choose any option. That's what you want to export. And the second one, mostly we will do that is click uh, the click button. So you can choose any file format. That's what you want. And then uh, click go and then save the file uh, to your computer. And then that is the good way because in case you have any accident, uh, any converse problems, so you will lose all the data. Then the data may be hard to recover. So you have to save the file to back up to the computer. How to combine two tables from different databases? Please watch my next part three tutorial.